Hello and welcome back to the Saints FM series where we're kicking off our second season in the Premier League. And as you can see, we're at the 8th of August, which means it's game day, opening day. But we're going to recap the transfer window. So let's buddy get into it. So we'll go for our departures first. Mariba left to Almadea for 8.5 million. He only played six appearances in the Premier League last season. And he whined like a bitch about two months in, so binned him, tried to bin him for ages, finally got him sold. Obviously last episode, we did sell Howard Bellas to AC Milan for 41 million. He obviously was not going to sign a new contract, so we had to get rid of him. Massive 36 million profit. We'll take that. We also sold uh, Manu Morlane, who we signed last season for 9.5 million. We've sold him for 12, so we've made a little bit of profit, but Jesus Lord, this guy in position was fucking horrible, so we got rid of him ASAP. We also had to get rid of James Bree. Didn't personally want to sell him. Thought he was a very good backup right back, but unfortunately he didn't want to sign a contract, so we had to sell him. We've sold him for 10 mil to Swansea, who have been promoted to the Premier League, so he will play against him in this season. And obviously, same situation with Howard Bellas. Last episode, we did sell Flynn Downs to Sheffield United, who have also been promoted Benderax team so we're playing them in the Premier League as well but again didn't want to sign a contract just had to sell them now looking at our incomings we've signed this guy um Bolai Dia from Salon and Tana we got him for three so he's a pretty good striker um he's very consistent he's fast he's a poacher he's got decent finishing decent off the ball movement his work rate's the only thing that's bad but at the end of the day, I've got him for free. I've got him on a contract for an impact sub, so he's not expecting to play that much. So if he plays like shit, I'll just sell him. He's worth a good chunk of change. I don't think that's a bad signing at all. But unfortunately, he is injured for three weeks. So he's missing the start of the season. And I did decide to basically poach everyone from the teams that got relegated. And our first one was Nicholas Dominguez from Brentford, who got relegated. Signed up for 22 million. He's a very good midfielder, very consistent again. So basically, he is going to be more lanes replacement and he's got some beautiful stats. Look at that tackling. Look at that passing. Look at that work rate. Stanima. Yes, I love it. We then signed Nathan Collins as our Howard Bellas replacement. And again, very good stats. He's a fairly consistent performer. Enjoys big matches. He's a good Premier League player. And obviously, we signed him from a relegated team in Brentford for 23 million. So I'm very happy with that. We also signed Vladimir... Kufal, Sufal, I think he has to say it. Um, as a backup right back, so obviously Bree left. He's a backup right back. He's a decent player. He's good enough to play in the league. He's going to get a few games this season, which will be fine. And we have signed on loan Kubo. He's not going to play Cam. He's going to be playing on the right wing. Uh, I tried to negotiate a permanent fee, but they were being a bunch of cunts. He's got some very good stats. He's still got a little bit of potential to uh, grow into. Very consistent. Relishes big matches. Got him on loan. I would like to sign him permanently, but they wanted like 50 mil, so... And also, in the last episode, I forgot to bring this up, uh, we signed Yao Polinia, who's going to be our downs replaced with a 25 million from relegated Fulham, another team for a relegation side. And again, he's a very good player, very consistent, so hopefully he can slot in and do a job. And we also did sign this guy for 20 mil. He's got massive potential. At the moment, it's only showing three and a half star, but he's basically been four star for the last three years that I've scouted him. He isn't exactly perfect. He's a little bit inconsistent, a little bit susceptible to injuries, but he's going to be third choice this season. He'll get some game time, but overall, he's a good player, and hopefully he can develop here. So, yeah, unfortunately, we do have a few injuries currently. Obviously, Sufau's out. Dia's out. The young centre-back we signed's also out. Fullcrog's out. Shea Charles is out. He's out for a long time. He's out for another month, I think. And Sila's also out. So, we're starting the season with six injuries to the first team. We are trying to sell Nicholas Fulkrog, but no one bloody wants him. But it's not the, not the perfect start to the season. We have the most injuries in the league with six, <laughs> with the average being one. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Great start to the season. All right, for our first game of the season, we travel away to newly promoted Nottingham Forest. This is the team. Obviously, we have a few uh, spaces left on the bench uh, as we have six injuries. So that's unfortunate. But really, it's the same starting 11 as we would have last season. Bar Dominguez coming in at centre mid. Paulini having to play defensive mid as Shea Charles is injured. And Nathan Collins, our new starting centre half to be paired with Balakotchap. Uh, let's hope that this season is full of a lot more joy, a lot more fun. Because last season, it started to get a bit depressing with the performances. So hopefully this season... We can improve. We've, inc we've increased the quality in the team. Let's do it. Let's kick it off. Come on, boys. Graham Potter, the Nottingham Forest manager. David Turnbull's captaining them. The former Saints man who played like three games. Sang 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 Sangari? <laughs> yeah, these names are... Shadira? Yeah, these names are great, mate. Benedetto. Yeah, piss off. You fucking idiot, Paulinia! On your fucking debut, you've got sent off. 
Are you taking the piss? You're joking. You're taking the mickey out of me. On your fucking debut, you two foot someone from behind. Christ. Nice ball, Alcaraz. On the left hand side, we have no striker. Who needs a striker? It's Alcaraz and the 10 men lead right before the half time whistle. Who needs a bloody striker? Carlos scores, Doy gets the assist. And we're fucking winning. It's half time. It's the Saints 1, Nottingham Forest 0. I cannot believe it. No fucking w No way. No way. How have we won this game? <laughs> Come on. Get in. Josh Doig dominating the display. And so is Alcaraz. Great game from everyone, really. Um, except Paulinia. You dumbass. I don't know how we won that. How did we win that? What a start to the season. All right, for our second game of the season, we host Aston Villa. They won their first game 2-0 at home to Swansea. And obviously, with Paulinia out, Dominguez is going to have to play in defensive mid. And Stevens is going to have to start in defensive mid. Carvalho and Kuba coming in. And Breuer into the attack. Hopefully, we can go two for two. Let's bloody get into it. They're hitting us on the counter. Doig misses the tackle. It's Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon. It's in. John McGinn scores. And we've been hit on the counter. Oh, he's through. Watkins is through. Is he onside? He might not be. He's not. Piss off. Come on. Come on. We'll take that. Man, why? The games at the moment are boring as hell. Three shots total. We're playing attack and can't create anything. This has been horrible. Subs have been made. Adozi and Mara are coming on. Hopefully they can change the game. Nice, nice, nice. Super sick! He's offside. Well, we've lost 1-0. I blame the injuries. I blame the injuries, I tell you right now. We're just clearly, we can't attack at the moment. Defensively, we look fine. But Jesus Christ, we are not creating anything. So I've actually loaned in Levi Colwell. Fuck me, he's a good player. I didn't expect him to be this good. We've loaned him in as an impact sub. So I may actually loan out this Gomez guy that we have who we signed this season to get more game time. Because I believe that if we have Levi Colwell, he's just a better player. Might as well get this guy out and play. So hopefully we can get him alone somewhere. What is wrong with our board? We're up to 20 fucking scouts, but they refuse to give me more than seven coaches. Jesus Christ, I've asked... Four, this is our fourth season. Every season, every time I can, I'm asking for more coaches. And they refuse. Please. Bro, I've, I've used every convince possible. They refuse. And now I'm up to... <laughs> I've got 20 fucking scouts, but I can't have more than seven coaches. Give me a break, man. All right, full Kronk has finally left. We've finally got him to go. 2.8 million to El Medea. See you later. Actually, we take a trip away to Brighton. Brighton, same as us. One win, one loss. They beat Newcastle, lost to Swansea. Oh, that's dodgy. But the team is the same team as the first game. Uh, back to Mara Dozy. Bastos is our front three. Stevens has to come as defensive mid because Shea Charles still out. And of course, Palini decided to get sent off first game, so he's still out with suspension. Let's hope we can bounce back from the Villa defeat with a win here. Okay, this is awesome defending, guys. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Oh, no. I have a feeling we're going to struggle defensively until I get our defensive mids back, man. Stevens doesn't even bother to make a challenge. Nice ball, Collins. Alcaraz, lovely ball to Adozi. It's beautiful. Adozi. Dominguez. No, it's wide. Uh, it's Brighton building. It runs in behind. Walker Peters not there. And he's missed. Thank God for that. Well, we've been the better team. They've only had two shots, which is their goal in that chance just before the half time. But again, we're just not creating anything. Where the fuck is my left wing? Where are you, fella? Yeah, uh, yeah, nah, that's excellent, that's excellent stuff. Kone, well, he played in, plays it back to Gross, Gross, Scott Pizzunu. Oh, fucking hell, man. Every shot is a goal, apparently, at this point. Pizzunu, that's near post, you got to save it, I don't care. That's poor. Kobo with the set piece, Stevens lays it off. Fuck me, Stevens, that's ass, brother. Brighton on the set piece, and it's a penalty. Oh my god, it's just not, it's not a good start, is it? We've had a red card in the first game, somehow win. Second game, concede one shot on target, lose. And this game, we've, we've had more chances in them. And we're going to be losing 3-0. Oh, bro. This is unreal. Here, cross it in, Cavalio. Oh, we got a goal. It's Kubo. It's poor keeping. And Kubo gets his first ever goal for the Saints. 
And it's full time 3 1. The last 20 minutes is fucking dreadful. As soon as that second or third one went in, we just were shit. Oh my god, this is unreal. The defensive mids can't. Like, Dominguez is not signed to be a defensive mid, but has to play there because they have no one else. Stevens obviously is not a defensive mid. Oh, Jesus. All right, Carabao Cup time as we host recently relegated Fulham. It's basically a rotated team because at the end of the day, players need game time. And also, I don't have much confidence anyway, even if we played the A team, because again, we have to play Stevens and Dominguez in the defensive mid positions because we don't have anyone else that can play there. So I bring in Carvalho, Sila, Kubo, and Broya, Sufal, Larios, and Cole where we're playing. Still a good, strong team. Let's just hope they can get a performance out of it. Shay Charles is still out for another week and a half to two weeks, so he's going to miss another two free games. I think this is the last game of Paulinia's suspension, so hopefully I'll be able to pick up form once he's back. Unless he wants to get another red card, of course. There he into Carvalho, 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 Carvalho! Off the crossbar, Broye! He's offside by the looks of it. No, it's not! It's on! It's on. Hey, Broye scores! Come on! And that's half time. nothing else has happened. It's been a pretty dull affair, but we're winning, so that's what matters. Given away from Stevens. Vinicius is in. It's over. Thank you. Ron Balakotch out. Well, one. Siler. Kubo. Lovely touch. Kubo. No. Just wide. Siler on the set piece. Siler. Colwell. Levi Colwell makes it two. Yes. Come on. And that's full time. A good second half performance. First half was pretty even. Second half, we definitely dominated a lot more. We will take that. A good victory. And hopefully, we can build from this. All right, Carabao Cup draw away to Nottingham Forest. Bro, why can we never get just like a League 2 team? Where's our League 2 team? Come on. That's going to be annoying. Man, I, I really do. I really do love this game. I really do love this game. So Fabio Carvalho's upset about game time. Agreed playing time. Regular starter. Expectations. Regular starter. Current playing time. Regular starter. Wow, what is... You're playing exactly as many games as you're supposed to. It's three Premier League games into the season. And he's already upset with game time. That's what I mean. It's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I'm supposed to be a regular starter here, but my playing time hasn't really reflected that. What's going on? And then there, three games into the season, you've played all three. Yeah, nah, that's excellent. <laughs> Fuck me. And you just played in the Carabao Cup. That's four. You've played four games of the four games of the season. Dumbass. All right, next match we host Wolverhampton Wanderers. They sit in eighth. They've had two wins from their first three. Obviously, we sit down in 13th. Paulinia's back in defensive mid. Hopefully that helps us a little bit. Carvalho starting because he has to now. Breuer's obviously going to stay. Bustos is in. And uh, Belakotchap's not 100% fit. So Colwell and Collins is our centre back pairing today. Let's get in there and get a win. Free kick. Levi Cole was on the free kick. Why? Why, why are we doing that? Go on. Alcaraz, can you play it across? Dominguez to Alcaraz. Dominguez to Paulinia. Paulinia, no. At least he's not sent off yet. Nice play. Walker Peters. Walker Peters finds Breuer. Breuer in! He's offside! No, he isn't! Breuer strikes! Two and two for Breuer. Yes. Yes, please cook this season, Breuer. Please cook. And that's half time. Dominance. Dominance. That is exactly what we needed. A bit of dominance. Breuer strikes. Paulina and Dominguez are doing well in that defensive mid area. Good. That's by Paulina. Carvalho. Fabio. What a turn from Fabio. Why is he shot? Well, come on, we have options in the middle, fella. Free kick for Wolves. It's Kent to take. Free kick. Corny, you dumbass. Bazunu, safe hands. Safe hands. Nice, Fabio. Good ball. Dominguez. Bastos. Can we find Walker Peters? Yes, we can. This is great football. Walker Peters plays it across. Bastos off the bar. You've got to score there. You just, just slot it in. Pass it into the corner. Nice, Sila. Nice ball. Adozi to Sila. Beautiful. Sila. You've got to play. Why do we not? Mara is there for a tap in. Oh my god, how are we not up by two? Free kick. Kubo to take. Kubo. Collins! What do you mean, Riff? What do you mean? Offside? How is he? Cole offside. Piss off. It's two. Come on. The Riff's first putty teasing me at this point. Come on. And a dominant display. Ends in a victory for the Saints. We dominated all game. We should have put probably four passes with a chance to recreate it. But look at that defensive. Paulinia, Doy, Collins, Colwell, Walker Peters, Bazunu, Dominguez. That is what I'm talking about. So that's the end of the transfer window. Uh, there wasn't really any positions we needed or any options to sign. I'm pretty happy with the team we've built. You know, we got Paulinia and Dominguez and we got a striker and we got Kubo. And I'm pretty happy with the signings. We managed to loan out basically everyone that needed to go on loan except Gomez. 
No one really offered for him. Apparently, he has no interest in joining anyone on loan, which is a shame because I don't think he's going to get much game time here, especially with Colwell now here. It's kind of annoying. I would have liked him to go out and get some game time somewhere. All right, we travel away to Nottingham Forest in the Carabao Cup now. This is the strongest side we have. That's the strongest side we have now with Balakotcha, but I forgot about him. But this is basically the perfect team. The only changes that will ever happen from this starting 11 is obviously a rotated front three and Shea Charles would be defensive mid. So this is a pretty strong team. Paulinia this time. Let's not get sent off against Nottingham Forest. Thank you very much. Nice Alcaraz. Doig. Can you play Adozi? You can. Adozi. Adozi still. You have to score. You have to score, Samuel. Nice. 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 Alcaraz. No, you've got to slip it through to Broya. You've got to. Adozi. Well won. It's a mess at the moment. Belakotchap. Belakotchap. Wriggles his way through. Belakotchap. He's still going. It's Kubo. It's Alcaraz. It's in. We get our goal. Belakotchap. Marauding center half. Off you go, fella. Brilliant stuff. Nice play, Adozi. Alcaraz, Alcaraz. Breuer, what a tackle. It's still alive. Kubo, it's in. It's two. Come on, baby. The Saints are cooking. It's a good ball. It's a chance. It's in. Rather and cry. Oh, he may oh, he's offside, is he? He's not offside. It's in. We lost the ball about six times at that highlight. Nice, Dominguez. Nice ball. Breuer. The number nine strikes it home. Breuer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Breuer. Oh, my. He's in form. Oh, lucky better catch up. Chance for Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest. Someone close him down. For God's sake, you stupid cunts. Again, someone might have been offside. I don't know what the ref's waffling about. He's offside. He's not waffling. He's talking facts. It's halftime. It's 3-1. And that is what I'm talking about. Now, this is really good play from Nottingham Forest. It's a big chance. There could have been a pin, but it's in. And they're back in the fucking game, lads. Come on. No, don't do this to me. Chance for Nottingham Forest. Bazunu, safe hands. Yes, Gavin. Why are we hoofing it long? Why are we doing... You know, we play out from the back, and Walker Peters was just there. You could have just rolled it to him. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, my God, we're lucky. It's still alive, though. It's still alive. Fuck's sake, we've bottled it. With it, he may be offside. We've actually bottled this. We've led two goals twice. Come on, defense. Christ. He's offside. Yes. Fuck, this game has had way too much drama for my liking. And we're through to the next. Fuck's sake. Come on, the game's about to end. Fabio Carvalho, no game time for you, fella. I guess that's karma for being a fuckwit. Holy shit, that second half we got fucking battered. And we just squeeze through, but we'll take that. We'll take that. So Fabio Cavallo is out for uh, four weeks, which is not ideal. Saints fans want permanent deal struck for Kubo. I mean, I'm pretty fucking tempted already. He's been playing so well. And unfortunately, they want about 50 mil for him. So we'll have to see as the, the season goes on if it gets any cheaper. Oh, we got a good draw for the next round of the Carabao Cup. We're away to Bolton, who are in League One, struggling in League One. So we will take that. And this is the round of 16, I do believe. Yep. So Man United most likely going to play Tottenham, which is good. Other than that, all of the big boys are still there. All right, our next match is away to Crystal Palace. Palace currently sit in relegation 18th with only one win, and that was against Swansea. And this is the team. It's the same lineup. Uh, Alcaraz being dropped for fitness. Kubo's being dropped for fitness. And the rest of the team is the same. Shea Charles is back on the bench, but not ready to play a full 90. Ball back in. Luma! How has that not got in? We're absolutely lucky there. Jesus Christ. Adozi, go to the ball. Adozi. Adozi, you've had a slow start to the season. What the fuck was that? Oh, what a ball. Lerma. Oh, I thought he's going to go for goal there. I don't know how to say that name. Dinks it in back post. Is a over. We're lucky. But that all comes from Adozi being lazy. All right, that's a really poor half. No shots for us. Not good enough. We're changing system and we're changing personnel. Oh, yeah, that's yours. Bro, yeah, that's got to be yours, man. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, my Gavin, what a save. A minute into the second half. It was still shit. Come on. Wake the fuck up. Idiots. Nice, right, Shay Charles. Great switch. Walker Peters. Can he whip it in? Walker Peters. Alcaraz. How has that not gone in? Nice, right, Shay Charles. Alcaraz. Dia. Dia beats his man. It's Dia. It's in. Off the bench. He 
gets his first for the club. I had to put him left wing because he had no other options. Dia strikes. Get the fuck in, you sexy bloke. And Dia does it off the bench. The fucking hero. That second half was much better. Still not brilliant, right? Still not a great first, uh, second half. But we created a lot more in that second. And Dia and Alcaraz combine. And we get another three points. All right, for our next match, we host Leeds. Leeds are sitting 13th with only one win in their first five. We're challenging for Europe. Way. Brighton are winning the league. Okay. The team is, as it stands, Charles gets his first start of the season. Him and Paulinia hopefully dominate the midfield. Kubo's in. And Ozzy has to start because Dia... Potentially would have started in that left wing, but he got himself injured. So he's not fit. And other than that, same team. Let's bloody get into it. Nice, nice, Alcaraz. Nice. Palinia. Off we go. Palinia. Can you find the ball? It's a good ball. It's Kubo. Kubo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're signing in 50 mil. I'm, I'm, nearly, I'm nearly completely confirming that. No right winger has done what he has done so far. And he's played three games. I'm excited by his talent. Adozi. Adozi. Lovely beat. It's Samuel Adozi. Adozi, Alcaraz on, oh, lucky. Broya picks it up, Collins. Back to Broya, he may be offside there. He scored, but I think he is offside. And he is offside. Fuck, we've had a fast start though. Alcaraz plays it to Broya. He's got way too much space. It's off the post by someone. I think it was Shea Charles. We're unlucky not to be up by two. And a good first half comes to a close, but it is only 1-0 and I'm scared. Nice toy, beautiful tackle, Adozi. Nice ball. Kubo. Walker Peters in space. It's Walker Peters. Can he find the pass? Alcaraz! Yes! Perfect start to the second half. Carlos Alcaraz strikes. Oh my god, we're cooking. Corner ball. Kubo to take. Whips it in. At the edges. Broya. Broya. Ooh. And that is another beautiful performance from the Saints. The league is not ready for this team. This team is cooking so far. Obviously, we had a rough start, but that was due to injuries, really. We didn't have any defensive mids. And now that we've got our defensive mids, I mean, Shea Charles has played two games, two clean sheets. So that's going to be the end of this episode. We've had a very positive start to the season as we sit in sixth. Four wins out of our first six. Very good start to the season. Obviously, we will stay here uh, by the end of the season. Probably not. But my target is a top half finish. Maybe at a push, a European finish maybe a cup run i mean we're in the round of 16 beat bolton to a quarter final who knows what could happen but yeah pretty pretty good start to the season i mean we had a rough start obviously we just beat uh forest thanks to palina getting sent off then obviously two dodgy games against villa and brighton but then we started to turn it around with five wins in a row but this is going to be a difficult run we have coming up united away arsenal home liverpool away um, this will be a good test to see just how good we are as a team I mean, last season we beat United away, we drew with Arsenal at home, and we beat Liverpool away. So <laughs> let's let's hope that happens again. But that's it. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you boys in the next episode.